You are now listening to the Salty Virgins Podcast. Yes, I am your host, Jordan. I am here with the full cast. We are at Kevin's house for Thanksgiving. It's true. Uh, we are actually doing a video podcast, hopefully, finger crossed. We're not doing a video Lucas podcast. is here, too. Lucas is hey. also here. You'll see him on the video. Uh, he's this hanging out with us. So. <laughs> We're trying our best. Uh, we re- just like five seconds ago got a new Thanksgiving hypothetical that we've already started fighting about. Pat, go ahead and read it off. <clears throat> oh boy. All right. We'll try to tweet this. So you have $20 to build your Thanksgiving fantasy lineup. Um, so for your main courses, your $5 is a whole turkey, $4 a ham, $3 is just the white meat, $2 is just the dark meat, and $1 is tofurkey? Tofurkey. Tofu turkey. Oh, no. Jeez. All right, your potato dish, you have $5 mash, $4 sweet, $3... Oh, no, that's got to be nice. Come on. <laughs> I'll rotten. I'll rotten. Word. <laughs> uh, $2 roasted and $1 baked. Side dish one, you got stuffing, corn, casserole, spinach, and beets. Side dish two, you have mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, squash, cranberry. Brussels sprouts cream. being in the $4 category is yeah. a fucking crime. Absolutely. Brussels sprouts are fine, but come on now. Did somebody send that to the salty versions? Uh, Twitter, so I can look at it. Okay, it's already there. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, uh, dessert, no, no, no. dessert, you got pumpkin pie, apple pie, cheesecake, pecan pie, and carrot cake. And then for extras, you got $3 gravy, $2 biscuits, and $1 cornbread. Okay. First off, uh, you have $20. $1 to cornbread or off the bat. So we have $19. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better to say $18. I've said that they put carrot cake on this bitch, but not sweet potato pie. That's ridiculous. Kevin wants who the to be whole black fuck is so eating bad. carrot cake? Well, I mean, who's even ever, who's ever eating cor- carrot cake at Thanksgiving? Carrot cake's delicious. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Dude, it's not a it's carrot. Fine. It's not a Thanksgiving. Morgan it's has. A, I, it's a it's autumnal. It's one of those like, carrot cake. No, no. Carrot cake's good. It's one of those things oh, you eat because it's, it's there. Like, you don't go out yeah. your way to get carrot cake. That's ridiculous. Dude, Morgan asked the other day if we should do carrot cake for our wedding, and I was like, no. <laughs> I don't know. Like, no, it's good, but it's, it's not wedding cake. Yeah, I was like, I'd rather a full on. Like, what the fuck? Also, another travesty, uh, just dark turkey meat being uh, cheaper than just white turkey meat. I mean, that's just this, society, this, baby. I don't, this know, this you, I don't know what you want. <laughs> this looks white definitely British. made by a white person. Absolutely. Because a whole turkey's $5, yeah. but a ham's 4 Make yeah. That makes sense. So a ham would be above, too. Yeah. I would want the ham to be. I mean, this is easy, right? You just ham, sweet yeah. potatoes, <laughs> casserole, Maybe the camera got it. squash, <laughs> and then a nice mean, cheesecake. 14. And then a... Cornbread, gravy, 18. and biscuits. It's easy. This is this isn't even a challenge. Ham. Wait. Oh no, I didn't do ham. I didn't have a main. You yeah. have to do wow. ham. Oh, so you, said, well, you said that. So <laughs> four, eight, eleven, fourteen, and then you said cheesecake. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen, 17. and then cornbread and biscuits. There yep. you go. All right, twenty dollars easy. We've solved Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffing is fine, but like a nice green bean casserole. Are you kidding me? Green bean casserole goes. I don't know what the heck. I don't trust a white person to make uh, stuffing. And if I was cornbread, I'm. It's, white if it's white called stuffing, bread. it's white, right? If it's called dressing, it's black. Is that? I thought that was. The other I saw way that on around. Twitter. No, because I there was a. I don't eat this shit. There like was a poll on Twitter that said, "Is this called stuffing or dressing?" And my first response was stuffing, and then I went in the comments. <laughs> and the funniest <laughs> ones were calling it dressing, and I was like, "Okay, white people call it stuffing." <laughs> my mom calls it Puerto Rican stuffing, so it's probably a little different. White people it also is. don't make good. cornbread, so it's like garbage. I don't eat the shit either way. So. You're it's really missing out. Yeah. There's cornbread literally right there on the counter, made by a white person, if you'd like to check. <laughs> Kevin's mom can cook. Shout out Nancy. She can cook. <laughs> All right. So you know what's left. I got... You just corn? What just kind of white meat. <laughs> what? Yeah. Fish what? Mashed potatoes. How does his dad God. Some of my salt corn. pepper now. That's eight, so that's... What? He's at $13. $13. Mac and cheese. 18 18 18? Yeah. yeah. You gotta eat carrot cake, but <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'll take carrot cake and what? A single piece of cornbread? Yeah, cornbread. And nobody's <laughs> going to Patrick's thing. Wow. You saw that coming. You're uninvited, uh, Patrick. Pat is his father's Pat's son. Pat's going, going to London tomorrow. Like, thanks to he's already ruined. He's eating trash food no matter what. Beans on toast, four days straight. God, yeah. <laughs> my brother made and a warm beer. My brother made a scavenger hunt for. <laughs> Uh, one in the box. Oh my God. God. In the meantime, my perfect Thanksgiving would be ham. So we're at four. Mm-hmm. I'm going roasted potatoes. Okay. Six. Six. Uh, I'm going corn. 
So that's ten. Ten. Mac and cheese, of course. I kill all of you yeah. for mac and cheese. Uh, cheesecake, and then add in two dollars for biscuits. It's fair. Cheesecake's strong. Cheesecake's very strong. I, like I, I fucking love pumpkin pie. But you just can't be spending five dollars on five dollars. Cheesecake is three bucks. That's ridiculous. The value is just there. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese, and it can be any kind of cheesecake. Do you guys like pecan pie? No. I fuck with I've had pecan good pecan pies before, but. I'm I've had some real shit. You know what sounds, but you know what sounds really good? Uh, shout out at Coley Make and Mix Safe Up. His uh, pecan bourbon pie. That yeah, pecan bourbon pie sounds pretty fire. Sounds. I can see that. I've had a good pecan pie before. I've also had a very, very good That's pie. exactly <laughs> what Kevin said, so. <laughs> the tea? Essentially, yeah. It's like you guys are this best friends. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you want to hear some of these scavenging methods? Uh, no, next topic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, one of them is. Order fish and chips and then complain about why they give you fries. <laughs> uh, one is solve a mystery using deductive reasoning. That's worth 8,000 points. Um, Sherlock? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell someone that you heard the London Bridge is falling down. Find a Scottish person and ask if they enjoyed the English You're going to get deported in four days. <laughs> yeah. You know English people are drunk and mean, right? This is, they're not nice. <laughs> uh, ask 10 people do. if they speak American. <laughs> Oh man, Patrick, can you fight? <laughs> yeah, there's gonna get the two piece combos with uh, two piece combos. He said, rice. start a yeah. conversation with someone and then say, "Sorry, I have to Brexit this conversation." Then don't actually lose. That's yeah. a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's gonna get you stabbed though. Yeah, they, they only have, stab them. They, they, they don't have guns, but they will stab you. Listen, just getting stabbed in free healthcare, it's fine. Yeah, I, don't I don't think Americans have free healthcare. Yeah, yeah, I know. If you're there, you get the free healthcare. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's pretty yeah, good. That's true. It's gonna come back with Dolph. Hey everybody, say hi to Lacey. <laughs> Kevin's fat corgi. <laughs> Kevin should have went to England and then got a surgery. They hurt his foot over there. Yeah, oh, Canada. Canada. That's true. Canada. Doctor might have cut off the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you want a side of chips with that or? Uh... You want some crisps? Crisps. Some crisps. Also, don't they just? They don't have like the different varieties of French fries, right? Their chips are just those shitty steak fries. Yeah, I right? think so. Yeah. I don't think no. they have like. Well, McDonald's might have like two string go. fries. Yeah, like, McDonald's. They got Popeyes overseas, right? I uh, know they have. Uh, <laughs> they have uh, what is? Oh fuck, was it? The chicken place. Churches? Oh, they got Nando's. Talk Nando's. Churches. Oh, Nando's. they do. We got Nando's in America though. Like one. There's like one. literally like one. There's one in DC. I did. I that might be the only Nando's one. It's so fucking because good. Because it might be an English embassy in DC, so I was like, fuck, I need some Nando's. Yeah, Nando's goes. Peri Peri sauce? Woo! I have no idea what any of this is. Peri Peri. Nando's is like fire roasted rotisserie chicken, and it's like really, really good. And they got like special sauces. There's like a Peri Peri sauce, which is like a spicy Polynesian. Okay. That goes. And then there's like a bunch of lime, like sauces and stuff. There's three of them. One's in Maryland, second is in D.C., third is in Chicago. Well, I got to go to one of the three, check off uh, one of my food grails. Sure. Some it was cheeky, good. Some, some cheeky Nando's. Cheeky Nando's. Nando's with a rando. Jackson, did you ever give your uh, Thanksgiving food? Uh, dark meat. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm right here. <laughs> Jordan, I mean, Jordan knows. <laughs> So dark meat, two dollars. Um, hmm. Going sweet potatoes, so that's six. Stuffing. I can do mine. Eleven. There you go. Mac and cheese, sixteen. Is that your job? Not really. No. Not really. <laughs> Listen. Drinking. <laughs> so it's, you're sixteen. Yeah. All right. You see this? So I'm going two dollars. So two dollars for pound pie, and then two dollars, two servings of cornbread. Jordan, you have a strand of spit <laughs> hanging from your beard to your cup. It's been a minute. You <gasps> animal. Said something. <laughs> Looking like cornbread over here. <laughs> Listen, you guys got to pay nine ninety nine for this kind of content. You see, I don't offering, do. Cornbread's offering can't. a lifetime premium membership for three hundred bucks on a black black huh? Friday. Say what? Some say don't. What? <laughs> If I had to already paid money into it, it. <laughs> he's got an OnlyFans. How much does it cost a year? We can have a discussion about OnlyFans, but I don't think we can actually record it. You pay for two and a half years, you get it for oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. That person texted me today. You pay $10 a month. You pay for two and a half years, you get it for no price. 
Yeah. Porn up's not going away. They're not going bankrupt. Porn Yo, they're not, saving the earth. Not with my $10. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with Jordan backing them. Listen, I, I, I would go, I would work for porn up. Like, once I'm out of law school. That would be an easy. Jackson, 40 pizzas is on your list? No. I'm not that greasy. <laughs> That's just for the papa, yeah. yeah just for the papa. That's Papa John's himself. Jackson doesn't say the N word. I can confirm. Also, no. not just forty pizzas. Forty pizzas in thirty days. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not Give just forty pizzas, pizzas in thirty days. Forty Papa, papa John's, John's pizzas. pizzas in thirty days. Which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, with or without sauce, though. Does it even matter? Yeah, you can do like twenty with sauce. Twenty with ten times. <laughs> do you think like? He ate like one and a half pizzas throughout the duration, or was he like, no, I'm just taking two five was, to the dome? I think there was some days that he was good, and then he had his bender days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had, looked like a crackhead. This, <laughs> this had to be pretty front loaded. Because like he was like sweaty and greasy. He, he was still wearing this Papa John's shirt. Like what was that? He wore such shit to sleep, dude. Like, it's like a Papa John's PFG. Like what's going on with that? I've never seen a photo of him not wearing it. I know it. In like 20 years. He's been the drunkest man alive or the sweatiest man alive since he was Papa John. Like, I, I mean, mean, Patrick and I do exist. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, you remember that picture? Of like... <laughs> to be fair, it's kind of hot. We turn this man off. <laughs> that would be. Uh, I'm sweating right now, but we're also drinking heavily. Yeah. What? Us? Uh, no, oh, they couldn't man. see the video. <laughs> We can't even lie about it. <laughs> we'll never see the video. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I pressed that button for nothing. Soon after he got cut from Papa John's, Shatner tried to stage a comeback. He created a website, SavePapaJohns.com. Oh, no. He's also sold like 900 mil in Papa John's stock over the past month or two. Well, because they're probably forcing him out. No, I think he was selling it and waiting to complain about the pizza until he sold off all his stock. And he was like, this pizza stinks. He said, And black people like it. <laughs> <laughs> He sent a 61-page letter of resignation to the board of directors of Papa John. Oh Sending a 61-page letter of resignation is insane. I better look like Trump's notes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no quid pro quo. I mean, uh, yeah. it's it's like a chisel tip Charpy. It's 61 pages, but it's in like 50 point font. It's, it's, really, it's really just one word. Yeah. Trump was like, bring me the fattest, the the fattest the Sharpie you have. Yeah. Holding it with his whole thing. <laughs> And just 61 people. We're gonna walk this big ass in one one over. <laughs> My first time on the <laughs> The N word on all 61 pages. <laughs> he wrote the N word definitely within that. How many times? Over, under, like 10 times? 61. 61. 61. <laughs> Every page got one. It's like a header. <laughs> <laughs> That's his letterhead? N word. One. <laughs> Two. His final quote in the article from the Washington Post is, Can you read this out loud? The day of reckoning will come. The record will be set straight. Is he talking about slaves? He sounds like a <laughs> fucking Nazi. Jesus. It's like, I mean, Pizza Nazi. they have minutes of the meeting where you said the N-word. Yes. The record says it be set straight. One of, it's like, I'm just imagining me, uh, meeting minutes I get at work, and it's like, oh, action items, Kevin to do this. Also, John said N-word. <laughs> <laughs> no one laughed. <laughs> Fire! Fire! Five minute awkward <laughs> silence! Action item! Fire Papa John! Roadblock. <laughs> we kind of reached the <laughs> We've reached an impasse with Papa John! Uh, you don't know what to do. He insists he is still beloved by employees and told WR, WDRB that there would be cheering and backflips if he were to return. He said he believes history will, be, will smile upon him. Okay, Papa He's John for Trump. He's running for president 2020. 100%. Yeah. He He's going to be Secretary of State. <laughs> <laughs> the cult of Papa John. What if Papa John was our president? Would it be any worse than we are now? What's the difference? Right? Yeah, they're <laughs> agreeing. <laughs> said, Donald Trump said those, now. I'm 100% believe that. <laughs> those are, they are the same words. Better ingredients for the United States. Mm. Get that on a Papa John. <laughs> Jackson's trying to get hired. Uh, <laughs> I'll pay you millions of dollars. Listen, my job might ex not exist in like two months. We're yeah, he's place. trying to get hired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was tough. <laughs> We'd love to see that. Just write down, what's the timestamp? 22-ish? Yeah, 22. Uh, 22 did, you, uh, did you see that 
ICE made a fake university and then had people from Trump India university. pay tuition to go to the fake university? Yeah, and then arrested those so people? Yeah. The, the, and, and the worst part about it is students from other countries, mostly from India, obtained legal student visas to come to the U.S. to go to college. Since ICE created a university and it was a fake university, those visas were Become actually invalid. invalid. So they were able to arrest them and they brought people to our country for fun to deport them. Yeah. And like, I think I read the article about it. I think 80% of them, like, we're just like, fuck it, we'll go back. Like, it, there's nothing we can do about it. And then 20% were like, no, we're going to fucking challenge this because, like, we were brought here under false treat, like, false pretenses. Pretenses. Yeah. And, like, this That's is entrapment. The excuse is... I'm drunk, buddy. <laughs> the excuse was... I feel like they should have known it was fake. All the time. That's they should have known it was fake. They should have known it was fake. They should have known it was fake. Yeah. That's oh fucking... How? What does that even mean? <laughs> should have known it was fake in a language you probably don't speak in a country you've never been yeah. to? Cool. So should have known these actual like forms you submitted to the U.S. government and then were accepted are actually fake. Republicans want to deport people so bad, they're bringing people here to fucking deport them. It's like, and that's just a fact. Ice is the fuck. Oh my god. Hashtag abolish ice. Hashtag abolish ice. Yeah, we gotta get that out of here. Thanks for bringing the ice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I mean, Lucas, Lucas did bring the ice, so very nice of him. They just had to bring the ice. He's a fed now. <laughs> <laughs> we still appreciate it. Big fed. So, how many, how, many people did, how many students did they bring over? I think it was some total, like 250, but like 90 got caught Isn't up. Isn't the this. problem wanting to get them out of the country? People that are here illegally out of it. Why would they bring people here to deport them? People left their country. It's probably it like was, when it was you're supposed to be a sting for people abusing the system yeah. just to get visas into the uh, United States. They arrested 250 people they gave visas to. Yeah. 250! Yeah. And to be fair, this started during the Obama administration, not Trump's administration. Yes. No, no, no. ICE has never been great. We're, we're, we're <laughs> Immigration on. policy in the U.S. has never been good, you know, starting from the Trail of Tears until now. But I would have said uh, before that, all the way back to uh, oh yeah, they were wrong. Yeah, let's say tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Happy was, Thanksgiving, everybody. It's ah, a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Things are going well. Um, but yeah, they brought those people here. It's kind of like when your boss is trying to spend all that money at the end of the year so that they can keep the surplus. Mm. It's, it's like the office. Michael Scott. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like they're, it's like if we don't arrest this many people, we don't get our budget next year. So, who's got some ideas? And one intern was like, "Hey, if we just bring all these people here uh, and then send them right back," and like, somebody was like, "Good job." <laughs> that kid's probably yeah. like promoted like, now. Like, that kid is <laughs> Secretary of State. Yes, he was it Mike? It's Mike Pompeo. Yeah. yeah, I know. Fucking really, really turns out Star he has one job. And his job is to make sure that the sports teams make it to the White House. And his qualification is that he plays golf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, did you see that man's face? He kid, is not the man. Ugly, kid. He is the ugliest human being on earth. He looks like that uh, the, gi- the ginger like Person, comedian, uh, ginger comedian actor that is always made fun of in all of his roles. I forget his fucking name. Talking about Chris Farley. I don't know. All right, yeah. Right. No, it's not Chris Farley. I don't know. It doesn't. Even, it doesn't even matter. But Ben. <laughs> Down, just keep vamping while I scratch your Did you guys see the Cybertruck reveal? Oh yes. my god. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> These are indestructible windows. They were that. very much not indestructible. <laughs> also, the that, also that, theme should have played right after that. That's a bad thing to have like indes- like non shatterable passenger windows because in case you get an accident you need to break out of your car, you need to be able to break the fucking window. Well, you very much can break the windows. I don't yeah, know but it doesn't shatter, so you can't actually get out. Well, they can just keep hitting it with the jaws of life or whatever. Let me just and pull a jaw. Jo- as I'm <laughs> sinking into the lake, let me pull a jaws of life out of my car. Good thing like- I brought these. <laughs> I no, no, normal passenger First responders. Normal passenger car windows are meant to be able to be broken with like oh, I, the blunt edge of like a, like a knife very quickly because if they have to get the jaws of life, you're already dead. They're getting a corpse. Body bag. Jaws of death. What are you gonna do? You don't have to go to work. Travel job. No, so, facts. <laughs> he makes a good point. You don't have to go to work after yeah. that. You I will say, right. I was, before the Cybertruck reveal, I was considering maybe sometime in the future, that'd be kind of cool. I, I, I would kind of like to own a truck and it'd be nice to own a Tesla yeah. and the price points were looking kind of cool. That is the ugliest fucking truck I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire <laughs> Two life. Two-liter titty at Tesla <laughs> fucking truck. 
They already looks, have 250,000 pre-orders. Or that's what? the worst part. It it's looks like, $100 to pre-order. So, it's refundable. It looks like someone opened up paint and was like, hey, let me just draw that. <laughs> Locky-ass fucking... All right, I fucked it making a house. Uh, what's up to mine? It's the back. <laughs> <laughs> Some circle tool shit. We're good. Yeah. No, that truck is fucking terrible. Even from, even from a utility standpoint, like, with the angle sides, with the tailgate, like, say you're working, like, in a uh, construction job, you're trying to, like, throw shit off the tailgate, from, like, from the side, you have, like, a huge, like, right, or, like, angle blocking you from trying to the side. Try uh, yeah. Yeah, no. But it won't dent your truck. It won't. Oh, boy. And also, <laughs> you can't get it in any colors. It's only unpainted. Yeah, it's unpainted and awful looking, and it doesn't drive itself, which is the whole point of the truck. It kind of looks like a... It doesn't hit. drive itself? No. What's the whole point? It also doesn't pick people taller than like six foot. Have you seen those videos of people sleeping in their Teslas on the highway? I can't wait. I've seen point. videos of people in Teslas those. while they're driving themselves. They're not sleeping, though. No, they're legit. It's a subcategory. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> And Kevin website. makes fun of me Wait, for Jordan, paying my subscription. Yeah. <laughs> <Like 99. laughs> uh, shout, shout out Mindy. Good, <laughs> yeah, shout out Mindy. That's a good callback. But yeah, the Tesla truck does not drive itself, so what's the fucking point? Also, yeah. I 100% did not know that Elon Musk's family acquired oh, wealth yeah. through like literally yeah. a blood diamond mine. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like, ugly. It's, it's, it's nasty. Yeah. He yeah. got all his money selling PayPal, though. Right. He, he got his money. He had generational he wealth, wealth yeah. come from, from diamond mines. Diamond mines. Yes, and if you know anything about diamonds, uh, his name's Elon. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And then they got to purchase the human race wealth through selling PayPal. Yeah. Suddenly. And we're nerds still defending hey, his cars in space. So we're good. Yeah, his cars in his cars in <laughs> space. And, <laughs> and they drive Maybe themselves. Pissed, I can't say that. <laughs> Link, LinkedIn sucks Elon Musk's cock so far. Oh, right? my God, dude. Uh, link, link, so, LinkedIn, first of all, for any professionals, is great because you can get jobs through it. But if you actually log on to LinkedIn and look at the content that people post on LinkedIn, it's probably worse than Facebook, to be completely honest. It's oh God. like concentrated professional boomers are possibly the worst possi- like population. <laughs> Not of possibly, easily. <laughs> the worst, the worst, worst population of people because they're like, well, if you don't send me a thank you card after this interview, you're not getting the job. And it's like, <laughs> no, I sent an email and said, appreciate the flight. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, yeah. I've conducted, I've conducted you did interviewing, right? Hundreds of interviews at this point in my life, and I've probably received about thirty thank you emails, and I've responded to zero yeah. because listen, I when I interview, why people, would you? I and I think is I remember I remember people that I interview, the people that I like. It's that, but people send me a thank you interview, and I go or a thank you email, mm-hmm. and I go, that's nice. And you know what, it's good to send thank you emails, but people act like, I've seen people on LinkedIn say, like, to your point, you don't send a thank you email, you're not getting that. I was gonna hire you, you were the best candidate, but I didn't get a fucking thank you email from your ass, that's ridiculous. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, like, you want a true anymore. and honest power fantasy with your ability to hire people, and it's like, that's not what this is about. Like, you're supposed to hire the best candidate, even if they don't conform to your weird social norm from 1980. Also, the, the fucking bootstrappiness on LinkedIn. Oh my god. It's real bootstraps on LinkedIn. <laughs> Tyler Roberts would thrive. If you're not hustling, Mason what Rudolph? Are you doing? <laughs> MAGA Mason? The <laughs> whole fucking Steelers quarterback room is MAGA. To be fair, think about how many quarterback rooms in the NFL are MAGA. Uh, not the Baltimore not really. Ravens. <laughs> at, at, at least 18 the of the 30 teams. <laughs> is Sam Darnold there? I don't think so. Tim, no, that's too busy. Can you on? Can you vote? No, he's too busy holding the bars. I already got mono, baby. I can't get it again. I'm clean, baby. It's got tested. Out indefinitely. The Magic Johnson style line. Oh, man. Yeah, LinkedIn's pretty bad. Have you ever been on Nextdoor? Oh, my God. I follow Best of Nextdoor on Twitter. Best of Next Door is the most ridiculous what is shit. Next Door? Next Door is a neighborhood app. So it's like uh-huh. Twitter, but like centralized yeah. to your neighborhood. You know the yeah. worst people in your neighborhood, the HOA committee? Yeah. The people who are like, your dog shit outside yeah. today. I just picture someone, who is smoking weed? I can smell it from my apartment. <laughs> no, that is Next Door. I should download Next Door. I know it is. Hey, Lucas, stop. <laughs> you know it's you. No, that's Next Door. Like, in a nutshell, like that's what it is. <laughs> what and, like, it's so bad. Because people are like, they'll post polls, but they'll post like, instead of like, 
who thinks we should have a neighborhood block party? It'll be like, block party? No yes? And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what's the worst thing in our neighborhood? Dog poop, lawn maintenance, and word. <laughs> That's Papa suspicious John. guy. <laughs> That's Papa John's neighborhood. What? <laughs> At John Shatner. <laughs> At I love Papa John sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> at, at forty pizzas thirty days. <laughs> I wish you would have chronicled that. I wish you would have vlogged. Yeah, it's like pizza size. <laughs> oh my god. Or like uh, a yeah. fucking fucking Hasselhoff laying on the ground eating a fucking burger while fucking blitzed out of his mind. <laughs> Me. Have you guys not seen that? Yeah. Am I David Hasselhoff? <laughs> As a youth, I was like, maybe that's a problem. Now, no. at 24, I was like, no, I get it. That's, that's, a, like, that's, that's a solution. solution. <laughs> he, was not, he wasn't trying to be hungover. I understand. All right. Uh, so, best of next door, not always bad. So, this is the one. How long do I microwave a 25-pound turkey for? Please advise. What? <laughs> that was a joke from that last died. year. <laughs> yeah. But like, posting it on Nextdoor yeah. is great. That's, that's hilarious. hilarious. Because because don't microwave your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say this as a PSA, please don't microwave a turkey. Yeah, <laughs> but if you do take a video and send it to us. <laughs> yeah. But also, when your house catches on fire, we're We sorry. don't endorse it officially. <laughs> we'll only quote tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> With yelling emoji. <laughs> we'll start your there's, a, there's a post on next door that's like, has anyone noticed that our taxes have gone up? And the first reply is that, yeah, because Capote's spending all his money on cocaine and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Pat. Pat sent us a legitimate audit. Listen, we might article. be onto something with Palm Bay. <laughs> we might have been onto something without even knowing it. The Palm Bay administration, I guess. The yeah. mayor, like the whole city council. The Palm Bay city government is corrupt. You heard it here first. Breaking news. <laughs> they had a legitimate audit into their spending of misuse These of public funds. funds on construction, and the audit was like failing to report a bunch of shit <laughs> on this construction project that's gone on forever. And it was. Pat Pat might be the next mayor. And, uh, for real. I've seen Patrick's budget. He's got his macros in check. I have to say. Pat's <laughs> qualifications. One, he's got a budget. That's it. <laughs> if Pat walks in and shows them an Excel spreadsheet and presses a button and updates his fucking stock information, they're going to lose their shit. They're going to lose their fucking wizard. How did they're you gonna open burn Excel the stick? without going to www.google.com? <laughs> What do you mean I have to type in uh, HTTP? Colon <laughs> <laughs> forward slash forward slash. My least favorite thing is watching people open up Chrome and then go to the top and then search Google. <laughs> <laughs> and Patrick works with engineers. <laughs> oh, that's infuriating. They can't even shit in toilets right. They can't. Oh, oh my god. Did, 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 I think we talked about well, We talked about how they somebody shit on the pizza. Side. They can't shit in <laughs> toilets. Several <laughs> times. No, we, we talked about the first things that... Now when he came back and there was still more shit on the <laughs> side, side of the, of the toilet. toilet. <laughs> like somebody no. wiped their ass with the side of the toilet. That's the <laughs> only <laughs> answer. Like, oh, there's no paper. Oh. <laughs> Fool me once. He <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Did it's they gotta, oh it's gotta be the guy that's toasted his pizza. It's, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> this fucking best of next door post from yesterday. Uh, from someone who lives in Columbia Heights. I once asked Ben to not urinate in the alley and he shook his genitals at me and told me to go fuck myself. Is that me? Is it Hard to say hi afterwards. <laughs> Shout out Columbia Heights in DC. Yeah, about 20 years in this year's pocket. <laughs> what a fucking wild time next door is. You have to download next door. Yeah, I guess. If I live in a neighborhood now, I'm gonna open up my neighborhood. There are a lot of gunshots where I live. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to do that. Talking shit on next door might have people at your door. So, Pat, are you a member of next door? Yeah, there's a Thanksgiving turkey giveaway. Giveaway? Are, yeah. are they giving away one turkey or a lot of turkeys? <laughs> it's a horse in a window. I, I promise you, I promise everyone we will retweet this. Captured is suspicious activity. Of course, in a window. <laughs> meanwhile, That's all that in, meanwhile in Denver, there's uh, sus suspicious activity. Fuck, I'm drunk. I have a horse in the. Uh, Things are deteriorating. <laughs> in Denver, <laughs> does someone smell weed? <laughs> I think I just texted someone. Oh. Someone smell that fire. He says, uh, Carly, text Carly. <laughs> No, 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 no. Dirty side. Next story. Yeah. The title is Still Looking for Cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's not the first post. <laughs> Once you repeat posting, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Somebody ran over that. Yeah, that's cat. Gone, <laughs> just like, yeah exactly. <laughs> Urgent alert weird. from next door. Warning: All the avocados at Whole Foods are rock hard. <laughs> that's me. Same. I'm an avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Get that on the shirt. <laughs> Salty Virgins Club <laughs> shirts. I'm rock hard. <laughs> I'm for the koozies. Me, just like avocados, rock hard. Facts. <laughs> oh, yeah. have, we, have you guys seen these? I think we should well. talk about what we want for our anniversary cake. Live on the podcast that. Um, <laughs> oh, we should talk about cake. what we want. Kelly for our just cake. messaged us asking about. Yeah, Kelly wants to know what flavor cake we want. It's for all of us, so like. At Christmas, on our anniversary, fingers crossed, we can sit down how and many eat the layer- cake and then do this again. How many layers can we do? She'll probably do it. I want like want. six layers. Wait, can we have a cake that says, welcome home, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you know, yes, yes. Like like, sure, we can have a cake that says, just, well, just put an S on the end. end. <laughs> <That's amazing>. Parentheses <laughs> S. With some, no, brackets. Parentheses Whatever, right, fine. Right, we're, we're gonna cut that, right? <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, well, everything stay. Anyway, um, uh, six layer cake, welcome home cunts, written diagonally. Um, like a sash? Are we putting yeah. a sash on our cake? Can I have a sash that says that? I think we should get sashes, man. Uh, no, we shouldn't. We sashes? Should. The fuck is that? I vote bachelor party. for like bachelor lemon, because she makes a really good lemon blueberry cake. Yeah. Fuck lemon. Wait, I fuck with lemons. Yeah. <laughs> I, I fuck lemons. lemons. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck lemons sometimes. Like, All right, call me back. Lemon party? <laughs> no. Oh, lemon. <laughs> Patrick is just Google that. Sorry. I just yeah, saw, Google I just saw it. a post yeah. from my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> like, Did they say the N word? Like no, 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 no. My neighbors are really nice. They're just there's <clears throat> so they live right. Across yeah, I'm sure public dogs are really nice too. The lady. In the, their backyard, sits on her porch until like four in the morning, just screaming and like talking on the phone. Just, yeah, that's her song. She's cursing, you know. <laughs> and she's just posting stuff about it. So Kayla threw the. We haven't talked about the cake yet. This is like a legitimate thing. Like she's getting us, she's making us a cake, so we kind of have to tell her. I do want several layers. Okay, I the most I three. Three, I'll, I'll, I'll three and four for one for each. Well, because it, it's layered, so like that's what I'm saying. Four layers. Okay, four layers. All right, four layers. One more. I want lemon blueberry. If you put fucking cake in front of me that's not carrot cake or fruit cake, I'm going to fucking devour it. That's I, not what do you question. want from me? <laughs> what kind of cake would you like? Red velvet? Would you like a German chocolate? Like, yes. Yes. Yeah, I've heard, I heard a bad answer. Yeah, yeah. Each layer should be a different cake. That, <laughs> yes. My vote is for lemon blueberry. What Layer is your, one. What is your vote for? As long as it has buttercream frosting, yeah. it's gonna have like homemade buttercream frosting. It's Kelly. Don't is, there, worry is it about gonna that. be like the correct powder blue? <laughs> She'll probably try and match as best she can. You still haven't set a flavor. I said red velvet. Red velvet, okay. I don't give a shit. I've made that very public. Vanilla! <laughs> <laughs> He's getting white cake. <laughs> cake. What kind of cake would you like, Patrick? <clears throat> He's marble. Also, shout out to okay. Kelly, who will be making desserts for my wedding, by the way. Yeah, shout, shout out. Fish hey, yes. yes. What's you getting married? Uh, Wait, what? Kelly Aren't you? <laughs> no, it's not. No. After, uh, <laughs> shout out. Shout out, Kelly. Oh, that's uh, yeah. 41. Just so. here at Doris. Thank you. She's right there. Eventually. It's the beginning yeah. way. Shout out <laughs> at uh, Butter and Sprinkles underscore for offering to make it. That's Kelly. Oh. That's yeah, it's Kelly, it's Kelly. For offering to make us a cake for, our, well, telling us she's making us a cake for our anniversary, but also she's going to do the desserts for Kevin's wedding, which we, our jury's still out on whether we're raffling off a uh, invitation. Jury is very much in, but we're not. <laughs> it's a hard yeah. jury. There's a mistrial. We'll come back. Oh, wait, no, not a mistrial. That, that, uh, last spot that came up in? We're not going to talk about it. I need that. I need, I need you that. You can spot. have it. Okay. Talk to Kevin. That's not my business. Before you officially get the invite, you need to make it a couple more months, Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe in you. I'm just letting you know right now. I understand, but um, no, we can't ruffle that off. I thought I believed in Jordan, but ugh. Yeah. listen, I believed in me. <laughs> Things just didn't go my way. You're handling it much better than I did, though. Uh, well, yeah. I, no one could handle it worse. Yeah, six month bender is pretty bad. Six month bender where you called me four nights a week at three a.m. Yeah, pretty bad. 
Yeah, it was bad. Damn. Clip that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody in the chat clip that for us. Hello, Twitch. <laughs> Hello, our Twitch fan. Christine's probably fucking... <laughs> she's clipping it right now. Yeah, why are we live on Twitch? I don't understand. Because I thought about my it. computer would explode. What is it? Yeah, what? this is got like, what? Two and a half gigabytes of RAM? It's got four, but he can... <laughs> What's got four? You can upgrade that, right? Yeah, He's uh, yeah I, can, uh, I can just sync that in right now. MoreRAM.org, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just have to Google, uh, uh, <laughs> download moreram.com. That's what I do. I mean, that's not like I'm going to buy it. I have to put it as your social security number. You're good. Just download some games. Somebody tried to buy a house with my uh, my credit <laughs> really? one time. <laughs> Oh like no! House. Damn. Oh no! They were like, they didn't start small. <laughs> they just went house, and it wasn't like it wasn't like a small house. It was like I think it was like three hundred and fifty or something. He found it on Zillow. He was like, I'd buy that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a decent address. Like, yeah, no, I brought it. Down. Oh, the schools in the area look nice. Oh wow, this is, AC's pretty new. There's a pop just place. two miles away. There's a pop pop. Yeah. No, but it was in like the middle of nowhere in West Texas, and I was like. Wait, the fuck is middle of nowhere West Texas. That was an absolute mansion. It sure <laughs> fucking was. But that, yeah, that house had twelve bath. The 12 bank minutes. called me and they were like, "Are you trying to buy a house in Texas?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> like, Search I'm, I'm sure. Not. Not. Are you selling a house in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> Are they leads? Is, they, yeah. is there a good deal? <laughs> Should I? Is there it's a good program? Program? Like, are you gonna, are you gonna give me the loan for it? Like other hosts? They're like, no, <laughs> no, we weren't, but we just wanted to check. We were calling to let you know it got denied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They sent your shit back like the Kimbe Matumbo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we go, I have to hear from all of you. Best Thanksgiving side dish: mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Not white people mac and cheese though. Okay, so Jackson's so excited to come eat at my house tomorrow. Wait, so what, what, what time are you doing Thanksgiving? Uh, twelve. And you're doing it at ten. Twelve thirty. Two. Oh, two. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to go to both of your Thanksgivings and then go to Kayla's because my family. Is Kayla coming? Uh, I'm, just so I'm not sure if place. Kayla's coming. I'll have to ask her. She's in the next room. We'll talk later. Um, we'll fight later. Hey, yeah. Kayla. No, no, please don't call no, her in no. here. Do you need some ice? <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, well, th- mac and cheese. Okay, I guess mac and cheese is an easy answer. <laughs> yeah. You have to call it Best Thanksgiving dessert? Uh, so, I don't like pumpkin or sweet potato pie, so I'm going to go. I'm going to say corn souffle on the side dish, by the way. Corn souffle is delicious. Corn souffle. Corn souffle is, is so mac white. and cheese, but with corn. Yeah. <laughs> Your family is so white. It's so good. Never corn souffle is pretty good. Corn souffle is really good. We're going to have that. I can't say I've ever heard of that. It's, like, no, it's literally like mac and cheese with salad. corn. Please don't. <laughs> Just one minute. Please. One minute. Forty-five. So best best Thanksgiving dessert. Um, Jordan, probably some sort of apple pie. You know, like a lattice pie, something like that. Jackson, uh, apple pie with ice cream, vanilla ice cream on top. That's pretty good. Got to be sweet potato pie for me. Kevin wants to be black. I so. Bad. Am I not allowed to like sweet potatoes? What is this? Like. I'm just saying, I said it at the top of the episode, and I'm saying it now. Is that the title? Please let that be the title. Kevin wants to be black so bad. <laughs> to be fair, I don't. Fair is fair. That's what? racist. White privilege is a pretty good gig. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah like, I, listen, I'm, I'm saying. In terms of cards. Oh if your question is asked, we said otherwise. You're still going to get ice, and it's still going to be loud. <laughs> it's out the door that was loud. <laughs> Was it you walking? Lucas, what's your favorite thing? Why did you crawl in here? <laughs> She's not there. Right? <laughs> no, people my, will never see it. He's not even fucking out of there. My sister just crawled across the floor to get fridge from the ice. Whoa, the, ice from the fridge. Fridge from the ice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> keep it groovy. Hashtag abolish ice. <laughs> Extra ice, god dang. Okay. I'll abolish ice. This is an anti ice podcast movie. Lucas, right, favorite so Thanksgiving dessert. Back in the day, we used to do a flan. That, that oh, it flans on the table. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it is at my house. You so are white. So. We don't do the flan anymore, but my my aunt makes a fire. Um, if he says Trace Leches, I'm gonna say. No. <laughs> I love Trace Leches. <laughs> that would be that would be over. No, I know. I love Trace Leches. Do you say Leches? If he says that, I think even that your house is canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish. You know, I've been asking for that shit. It won't happen. But um, empanadas, honestly. I mean, that's that's just <laughs> gone. A fucking like, guava and cheese empanada for dessert. For anyone that doesn't know, Lucas's parents, dad specifically, or, it makes 
Maybe the best empanadas that I've ever They're existed. So fucking good. Empanada King, I'll hit you with a business card. That's <laughs> a fact. <laughs> it's not a joke. Empanada King is just a real thing. <laughs> yeah, just look at that. He has a business card. Hit me up. At Lucas Fuentes. <laughs> I'll stop. I mean, I mean, we'll, look, uh, we'll look it in the chat. <laughs> yeah. We'll look it in the chat. Clip it, dog. <laughs> My mom makes a really good lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie is good. in the freezer for like two I fuck with lemon <laughs> That's your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? That's so rude! <laughs> uh, I mean, that's really. I only have pumpkin pie and lemon meringue pie at Thanksgiving. Okay. Have you ever had a good sweet potato pie? I have. Uh, uh, I'm not a huge sweet potato guy. He has his father's I'm also, yeah. I got a hard on for sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. You I really recently do. just got into sweet potatoes. It's like ridiculous. I want to like them, I just don't. It's like wine. Like, I want to like it, I just what? don't. I love it. I can't, like, so the thing about wine is it has so many earthy wood flavors. Oh, shut the uh, fuck right. up. Thank you for listening to Salty Grittis. Salty really, really settles on the back of your head. Jordan wants to be a so bad. Jordan's a Somalia. <laughs> I would like to be, I just don't like wine enough to. There's a lot of money in it though. Hell yeah, dude, you need a compo. <laughs> <You gotta, laughs> Alright, we love you guys. You gotta fix your uh, Thank you for listening to the Salty Virgins Club podcast. Thank you for watching the Salty Virgins Club podcast. No, no, okay. <laughs> they might watch it. I'll watch it. When are they watching? We're not putting this shit on Spotify, you have to watch it. Yeah, we're gonna put it on YouTube. Clip it. And that's it. it. <laughs> They're clipping it right now. <laughs> we're live on Twitch every Thursday. <laughs> I'm no, a, I'm a exclusively Stitcher, so <laughs> we're on I'm Stitcher. On. I have a mixer contract. <laughs> mixer, yeah, you should fucking Stitcher. Oh, my God. Stitcher is a podcast. Stitcher. Stitcher. We're not on Stitcher though. We're on no. Stitcher. Uh, All sure. right, we Shut love up. you guys. <laughs> Peace. Shout out Bobby for letting us pay them to host our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Bill soon come. We're not really, actually, yeah, in oh, January next month. Yeah, we have to pay yeah, yeah, more money. Jackson's still going.